All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a new video. Um, people want to know what the size differences are and, um, you know, compared to certain models and, and what are the ratings and I get a lot of questions and what's it do on the dyno, which I'm done with that. I think if you haven't figured out that damn thing ain't worth the damn box it's put in, then you need to go back to school. I mean, that's just all I can tell you. Uh, amps to me are like tractor trailers in kind of a way. Usually the bigger they are, the more power they're going to make. That's just typically the way it works. If it's not just a hunk of shit, and let's just say it's been engineered by an engineer. How, how about that? Let's just say that. <laughs> uh, and when people say, you hadn't done this and you hadn't done that, well, guys, I've done it. I've tested it. So I'm going to straighten the camera up here so hopefully people can see it. Um. These amps are full. In other words, there are no spaces in between. There's no, there's no guts in, say, that hair pie, and then the edge have three inches on each side of the guts. These guts are crammed in these amps. This, that's, these things are heavy. Um, they're not lightweight. They're, they're built tough. I mean... I, the power that they draw is enormous. I know what the power they put out. And when people say, well, how do you compare the two without that dyno? And I've tried to explain this in another video, but I'm going to make this as, I'm going to try to do this here today as simple as possible. So hopefully if your IQ is about a 20, you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay. So, what I did is I kind of lined these up in the power range I would say that they're supposed to be in, okay? Now, just look at the size difference here. I think I got a package showing. But, um, probably more amps, to be honest with you. This duck saw 2700.1D. Guys, I can only say this one more time. That is a 2700 watt amplifier. That's what it is rated from the factory. I did not rate that. Does it do more than 2700 watts? Well, hell yeah, which is my whole point. That duck sauce is as cheap as that. There's a Surge 3K. That's a 3000 watt amplifier okay <laughs> and if you were to open these two up and compare them there is no comparison it's 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 not even close it's not even remotely close that's all i can tell you I'm not talking shit about that amp because they make bigger amps but i'm talking about in the same line that's what it is. I didn't rate it, okay? There's a Bruce Lee, plain as day, 3000.1D. Guys, that's what it makes from the factory, okay? I did not change that. That's what it's supposed to be. Now, I talked to the engineer today. He says, yes, that amp does well over 5K. And it depends on the voltage that you put to it. It has a variable output. Uh, I guess you'd say on the power supply section. So whatever you feed it, if you can feed it more than that 15 volts, if you feed it 16, it's going to make more power. It doesn't cut it off. Um, and then down here, this is a bulletproofed. MD-12K. Now, this is a Brazilian amplifier, and everybody knows they're smaller. 
because they have less guts. They have less electronics in them, okay? It's just a different design. But if that gives you any idea, if you've ever walked up to an MD-12K in somebody's car, and you, you notice it's not really small by any means, but it looks small compared to that Bruce Lee, don't it? All right? These are Chinese-made amplifiers, all are Korean design. Even the Surge is a Chinese amplifier, Korean design. Now, why is it half the size? Just somebody tell me that. You, you think it's got better stuff in it? You think it's got more transformers? You think it's got bigger capacitors? No. This thing has 10 times the capacitance that that does. 10 times. I've already did the math. I've already shared that. I've already showed you the numbers. I don't know what else to put. Well, that's got plexiglass on the bottom. whoop de doo Gr Great. Awesome. It's also got some black plastic leads on it. Plastic. These are metal, and these are clear on the outside, but it's all brass through there. Okay? Which, guess what? It's stronger than plastic. You see the brass on the inside there? That's brass all the way through. All right. These are both strappable amplifiers. Okay. So what's the big deal with it? Somebody tell me what's the big deal. Why is it so badass? It's not. That's not the truth. Okay. Um, here's your tear amps, which is not strappable. This is not a strappable amplifier. All right. But it does 12,000 watts at half an ohm. But guess what about this MD-12K? It does that power at 12 volts. This amp does more than 12,000 watts. If you run it at half ohm with 16 volts, this thing's going to get down. It's a badass amplifier. And these are bulletproofed. I have sent these off and spent money. I got more than one. All right. So then you step over to say a 2000 watt range. All right, this is supposed to be 3600 watts. We know it don't do that. Uh, I think Big D and some other people dynoed them and all that junk. This is a very well built amplifier and it will run a 16.8, okay? Uh, it is strappable. Um, it is a Korean, it's 100% Korean is what it says, but it's smaller than that one, okay? Is it a good amp? Absolutely. It's designed very well, but it is not a 3600 watt amplifier. I'm going to say it's for about 2K at best on a good day. That's with 16 volts. Okay, then you got a hair pie 2K. I have ran these for uh, uh, let's see, about eight weeks, eight or nine weeks, as hard as you can run them. I've got this in three cars that I have right now. Three, I'm running two and one, and one and another one right now, beating it hard too, like you Peter when you're younger. Um, this is a soy sauce. This is not a regular team pie. This is a, you remember them salt lines? This is an extra sodium thing, the same thing as salt. I paid more for these amps than anybody else has, all right? This also is a strappable amplifier. It has a clip button that keeps you from clipping it's got the nice bass knob like that surge has and to be honest with you they're identical they're identical i don't know how else to put it it's identical the, the, the you can take them bass knobs and put them right beside each other just besides the paint color it's the same damn bass knob and to let you know team pie does not even own Team Pie. It's owned by another company. All right, I'm giving you some education today. All right.
This is a fried rice 4K. Not in this category. This does more than 4K. But guess what? It ain't much bigger than this 12K. Well, it's about the same size as 12K. That just tells you it's got a lot in it. <laughs> There's a 12K beside a 4K. All right. I've also ran this amplifier and it's bad to the bone. It runs at 16 volts. I haven't tested the duck sauce at 16. I haven't tested the hair pot at 16. That'll be the next step. That'll run 16. The Bruce Lee will run 16. That PPI will run 16. And I'm not sure about the surge, but I think it does run at 16. I think. Don't quote me on that, on that because I haven't really got into that part of it. And this MD12 cable will do. It'll run at 16. Now, when people say, how do you get which one's the most powerful? And here's where it gets real simple, guys. Just